they're off for the 2020 Randox Grand National. 40 runners getting away, and as they head uh, towards the Melling Road, one of the slowest away, Give Me a Cop, is out the back early on. Sub lieutenants towards the rear as well with Bally Optic. Any second now is prominent, though. Kimberlite Candy is also uh, prominent. Jet towards the outside with Yala Enki double shuffle and Acabella Bourgeois, and here's the first. And they jump over the first, and we've got a faller down towards the inside. Um, one down on the inside is Lakeview Lad. Lakeview Lad has gone at fence number one. On towards the second, Jets Prominent out wide on the track, along with any second now. Handy down towards the inside is Cloth Cap, along with Lord de Menil. They're followed by Manella Times and Burrow Saint and Double Shuffer and Yala Enki at the big ditch. These are then followed by Farclar, wider out Cabaret Queen. Then Acapella Bourgeois talk is cheap, and Manella Celebration. Back through them to find Kimberlite Candy is currently racing with Canelo, then Amy Delbois and Balco de Flo as they get over the next one, the fourth. Last one there was Annabelle Fly. Uh, looks like Magic of Light is unseated rider. Magic of Light is out of the race as they go to the one before Beaches. And Cloth Cap and Tom Skudamore, they're taking the brave route down the inside here in the green cap. Jet is right there alongside. And out wider is Yala Enki, Cabaret Queen and Double Shuffle as they head on down towards Beaches Brook. Lord de Menil is in the firing line as well. And they're followed by Acapella Bourgeois and Farclar as they jump Beaches now and sailing over, all safely over. Definitely read well down the field. Mr Malarkey is out the back of the field as well with OK Corral. And now quickly on to the Foynaven fence. And and up front is Cloth Cap on the inside of Jet, Yala Enki. They're followed by Any Second now in the white cap. Manila Times is handy in the green with the white starred cap. Definitely red on the inside, out wide a double shuffle as they approach the canal turn. Cabaret Queen is out wide a Burroughs a Saint as they jump the canal. And Jet rises first from Yala Enki. Cloth Cap round the inside and they're all safely over. We're just about the last to land Annabelle Fly as now they head on to Valentine's Brook. And Jet and Cloth Cap are together in the lead. Lord and Manil made a mistake going out over Valentine's, watching the rest of the field. They've all got over safely. Jet, Yala Enki, and Burroughs Saint with Farclar and Cabaret Queen. And Manila Celebration, Lord de Manil double shuffle and Cloth Cap to the inside any second now. Made a bad mistake there, but it was a good sit from his rider, Mark Walsh, as they run on now down towards the next one, which is another open ditch. And it's Jet, Manila Celebration, Yala Enki, Burroughs Saint, Cloth Cap up the inside from double shuffle. Manila Celebration has seated rider going out over that ditch. Manila Celebrations out of it. Jet Yalarenki, Farclar Lord de Benil, Cloth Cap and Double Shuffle, followed by Manila Times and Farclar. Burroughs Saint out wider on the track, then talk is cheap. We've got a faller down towards the inside. Double Shuffle has gone at that one. Double Shuffle has crashed out at fence number 12. It's Jet who leads him over the Anchor Bridge crossing. From in second, Cloth Cap, then Lord de Benil and Yalarenki, followed by Farclar, then Burroughs Saint and Cabaret Queen behind those Melilla Times and Disco Rama. Then Chris's Dream talk is cheap. Behind those Potter's Corner, Verley en Rouge and Acapella Bourgeois from Bristol to May. And then Canelo, the long mile to the inside. Any second now made that mistake earlier on. Then Kimberlite Candy as they begin to race towards the 13th and Jet is in the lead. And as many as 36 of them head down towards this fence with Jet. The orange sleeves being tracked by Lord de Manil in the cheek pieces. Cloth cap still right down on the inside. Good position for Tom Scudamore. The green cap and is being followed through by Manila Times. Annabelle Fly is going to be pulled up before the 13th. Uh, Shattered Love is a long way back with Mr Malarkey and OK Corral as a couple of loose horses spearhead the field approaching the 14th. Jet will pick up and land three or four lengths ahead of Lord de Manil and Cloth Cap and Burrow Saint and a pale jacket right in behind them towards the rear taking risks made a mistake uh, give me a copper is in the last group of four Milan natives quite a long way back as well with Hogan's height as they come towards the chair and it's Jet and Sam Whaley Cone with a clear lead at the chair soar out over it cloth cap took it in second and then Lord de Manil leaders are over safely uh, Canelo has gone and Mi de Bois has also gone couple of fallers at the chair at the water Jet going further clear from cloth cap Lord de Manil jumped it in third the then Burrow St. Manila Times, Cabaret Queen, the Grey Farclar, Vieux en Rouge and Yala Enki from Discarama and then towards midfield Alfred Azobo and Chris's Dream is cutting the corner from Torquay's Cheap and Acabella Bourgeois. Then Tute Permi and Potter's Corner definitely ready is being pushed along. Further back to Bristol de May, any second now Kimberlite Candy, OK Corral, Balco de Flo. Uh, then Class Conti as they move towards the Melling Road from uh, the Long Mile and Hogan's Height and Shatter's Love and Bally Optic and Milan Native 
Massive sub lieutenant taking risk. Give me a copper. And Mr. Malarkey is last of those still going. But as they approach the 17th jet, and Sam Whaley Cohen are still in a clear lead. Jet over the 17th is clear by 10 lengths over Cloth Cap is over in second. Burrow Saint has landed in third. A very bad mistake there from Milan native. Mr. Malarkey's been pulled up taking risks. Has also been pulled up before the 17th as Jet has jumped over the 18th with about a 12 length lead over Cloth Cap in second. Then Discorama and Burrow Saint and Farclar coming to the big open ditch. It's Jet steadies and over safely. 12 lengths clear from Cloth Cap, Burrow Saint, Discorama. Then Minella Times Cabaret. Queen and Farclaw from Verli en Rouge and Acapella Bourgeois, then Balco de Flo and Black Line from Chris's Dream. Alpha de Zobe, Yalarenki, and Talk is cheaper the next ones. Then Kimberlite Candy in the long mile together with Shattered Love and then Milan Native. Vielle en Rouge has gone there. Vielle en Rouge is out of the race as they now go down towards the one before beaches and Jed is still well clear. With a commanding advantage, must be eight or ten lengths clear of cloth. Cap in second place. Burrow Saint moving easily in the pink jacket. Cabaret Queen's on the outside. They're followed through by uh, Bally Optic refused at the back of the field. Back on the inside, Minella Times is still handy, but Jet leads by a widening margin, if anything, over Beaches Brook. Leads by a good 10 lengths, maybe 12, to Cloth Cap and Burrow Saint. And then behind these is any second now as they stream over. Hogan's height is right out the back. So too is Class Conti uh, pulling up. Uh, there is the long mile as they jump the Foynaven fence. And it's Jet that continues to lead in the hands of the amateur Sam Wade. Lee Cohen, well clear of the favourite cloth cap and Burrow Saint on the outside as they approach the canal turn and Jet being angled across and he jumps it well. Cloth cap, Burrow Saint, they're followed by Disco Rama and then behind these is Manella Times in the green cap. Chris's dream nipping round the inside at Valentine's Brook. Jet is clear. Jet still well clear then at this point going out over Valentine. Still must have about a 10 length lead. Give me a copper. Made a very bad mistake towards the back of the field. Sub lieutenant still going but it's a long way behind. Talk is cheap. has been eased right off as they jump over the next one and Jet is clear going out over fence number 26. It's Jet by 10 lengths. The Burrow Saint, Manila Times and Discorama. Then Far Clark, Cabaret Queen and Cloth Cap who's been ridden along going towards the final open ditch and that was four out. It's Jet not so far in front now but it's still eight lengths or so. Chris's dream is unseated rider over that final ditch. It is jet clear going towards three out from Burrow saying Cloth Cap's going to be pulled up before the next one. Cloth Cap is out of the race as jet leads but only now by about four or five lengths to Burrow Saint who travelled strongly there in second place. Manila Times is to the inside of him. Then Descarama Black Lion has got notably closer now. Then to the outside Cabaret Queen. Balco de Flo is also now looking to play his part. Then then any second now and Farclar. These were ahead from Alpha de Zobo. Then Shattered Love way back to Milan Native. Give me a copper and Class Conti as they head towards home. There's still quite a few chances. Jet has now come back to them. About to be joined by Manila Times. Balco de Flo between them Burrow Saint. Any second now. Discorama and Black Lion right behind. Jet has run his race. It was a gallant race, but he's fading back through the field swiftly. Balco de Flo with the orange cap. Burrow Saint in the pale pink silks. Manila Times the star on the cap on the right for Rachel Blackmore. And she lands just in front over the second last, Rachel. It's Manila Times from Balco de Flo. Burrow Saint any second now. The hoops with a white cap staying on. Then Discorama. Here's the final fence in the Randox Grand National. And over in front and over two. Three lengths clear. Manila Times from Balco de flow any second now continues to stay on burrow saint wandering out into the center of the track they head towards the elbow with over a furlong to cover in the national but it's rachel blackmore and manella times who are out four lengths clear of balco de flow and any second now burrow saint back in fourth is running on empty 150 yards to go in the national manella times for jay pink manus henry de bromhead and more significantly rachel blackmore history in the national Manila Times wins from Balco de Flo. Any second now is third, Burrow Saint four. Then Farclar, Black Line, Discarama, Jet stuck on heroically from Cabaret Queen, Shattered Love, further back to Alfred Azobo and Hogan's Height. She's done it, Rachel Blackmore, the first lady rider ever to win the Grand National. The best has ever been, there's no doubt about that. She's the best jockey riding and she has won the Grand National. The headlines, that will be the front page of the papers all over the place. Unbelievable scenes at entry. Minella time for the genius that is Henry de Bromed. He won the Gold Cup, the Champion Hurdle and the Queen Mother Champion Chase at Chelsea.